welcome to this video. In this video I would like to talk about most important transactions in materials management, so SAP MM. The materials management SAP MM module is one of the most important modules in SAP ERP and SAP s hana SAP MM forms the basis for all other SAP logistics applications. The aim of this SAP module is the supported execution of the purchase to pay process, procurement process. Among other things, the following activities are possible in the SAP system as a result determination of requirements, determination of sources of supply and suppliers, purchase order processing, goods received checked, invoice verification. In general, one area menu consists and collects all the important SAP MM transactions and this is the MM01 area menu. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> or yeah, with purpose, if you, for example, are in the start menu and enter the ID of this area menu, then you are calling not the area menu because MM01 is also being used by a transaction to create materials. And therefore, if you would like to open up the area menu, then you have to maintain the MM01 area menu as a start menu. And this is being done in the user profile so you just simply use the transaction code SU3 in the command field and then under defaults you can type in MM01 and then you click on the save button or you could also use system and then user profile and then user data to reach your user profile. And then if you open up the start menu, then you are opening up SAP uh, MM transactions, so materials management. And within here, there are very, very important transactions collected. So for example, for inventory management, uh, for purchasing. Uh, for invoice verification, for service and receipt, for value assignment, warehouse management, and so on. Very, very important transactions collected. And um, if for your case the transaction code is not being shown at the beginning of this node, then under extras and settings, you can select the setting uh, display technical names. And then immediately after you have uh, selected this setting, uh, the transaction code will be shown at the beginning. And if you would like to call one transaction in this area menu, then just simply double click on one node and then this transaction will be shown. And uh, there are very, very important subcomponents. And therefore, for every subcomponent, you can all call an own area menu and just so simply you have to be at the start menu and then you can type in the area menu in the command field. So for example, you can use MB00 area menu to call all the important transactions regarding the inventory management. Or if you want to, you can open up the ME00 area menu to call the transactions regarding purchasing. Then there is the MRM0 area menu for the logistics invoice verification. Then there is the MEL0 area menu for the service entry sheet. Then there is the MRBE for the valuation. Then there is the MI00 for the physical inventory. Then there is the MD00 for the materials requirements planning. So MRP, external procurement. Then there is the MM00 for the material master. Then there is the MR00 for invoice and there is the MS01 
zero for the long term planning in SAP MM. And yeah, folks, <laughs> there are a lot of transactions in SAP MM, so materials management. And I highly recommend to use area menus because within here, all the important transactions are grouped and yeah, uh, categorized. Uh, this is really, really helpful. And with Control F, you can search within the menu tree uh, based on. Uh, in the technical name or in the text and if you want to you can also open up the transaction code SE43N so this is basically the transaction for the area menu maintenance and for example here you can once again um, type in one area menu so for example the MS00 or you could also use the F4 help and then within here once again with control F you can also search within this structure and get uh, yeah, detailed information uh, based on additional information based on those nodes. And yeah, basically, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions left, please put them in the comment section. As well, if you would like to get an own video of one specific transaction, please put it in the comment section. And of course, please support this YouTube channel. Please support my work by subscribing this YouTube channel and you will also not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.